Any minute now, Caltrans is set to evict a homeless encampment in Marin County that's been growing through the pandemic. KBIX 5's Justin Andrews is live near downtown San Rafael with more. Justin? And there are dozens of people who live in this encampment. One of them right here, her name is Crystal. She's joining us live this morning. First of all, you know, Caltrans is expected to be here any minute now. How are you feeling? This is your, your home. This is your place of refuge. So what are you thinking right now? I'm just a little confused because I've been dragging that TV from way back there all the way to here. And then when I finally got it set up during COVA, this has been a real positive point for everybody. I'm a creative person. Um, I'm a child, a survivor of sex slavery, and um, and so this is this is my way of bringing peace and love to the family. So what are you going? So what are you going to do as far as living? Where are you going? What are you going to do? They're putting us in the back behind a fence with matching intents. And what does this mean for you? What 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 will you do when they show up any minute now? Your belongings? Are you just going to haul them to that location or what? Um, I've hauled what I can. Um, I'd rather leave my TP as my TP because in crushing it, it's like crushing my religion and my culture. You know, that, that place has been, sorry, that place has been a good place of healing and peace for people. You know, when people feel like they're going to hurt themselves, they come to me. When they feel like they're going to hurt somebody else, they come to me. Or they feel like they're going to be harmed, they come to me. You know, people donate here. You know, a lot of positives gone through here. People get out of their head. I got PTSD, so I randomly change it up so people can go and they can get out of their heads. I got veterans that come here, teenagers that come here. You know, I'm just trying to bring love and light to the world. And by them crushing it because they want us in uniforms. Obviously very emotional for her this morning as she's forced to deal with being kicked out of a place she calls home. We're going to try to talk to a few more of them this morning and give you the very latest as we hear from them. I'll send it back to you.